What's good, my people? We're going to have to start giving out fades again. Out of the way the Cowboys performed in that wild card loss for the Green Bay Packers, the 7 seed Green Bay Packers, the 9 and 8 Green Bay Packers, a whole lot of things are going to have to change in Dallas. And before we start to talk about that, before we start to give out the fades, all the things that can change, that are going to have to change, we have to talk about the biggest fade that has to be given out, the one thing that's not going to change, and that's the ownership of Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones isn't selling this team, which means that year after year, we're going to have to keep dealing with these disappointments, man. It's gotten to the point where those of us, are old, the older generation of fans, the OG Cowboys fans that have been through all of the all of the Super uh, Super Bowl wins back in the 90s, some back in the 70s, but that have been around to see this whole thing come to fruition the last 30 years, we have a complete understanding of what we're looking at. The way that Jerry Jones runs this business, the way that he runs this team is unacceptable in the way that they go about their business on the football field. What we saw on Sunday was a lack of mental toughness, the lack of the ability to have a response to change under pressure, and that is something that we've seen time and time again. They say that insanity is repeating the same thing over and over again, and that's exactly what the Dallas Cowboys have done under Jerry Jones. It doesn't matter who the head coach is. It is now six head coaches since Jimmy Johnson was, uh, was in charge. And I know everybody was hoping, yeah, they put him in the ring of honor, it's gonna lift the curtain. Nope, that didn't happen. What did happen was we saw another head coach, another brand of head coach fail when it came down to the time to take this team to the next level. We've seen these veteran head coaches that have Super Bowl wins uh, under their belt, Bill Parcells, uh, Mike McCarthy, they haven't been able to do it. We've seen coordinators who had no business running the team and Chan Gailey and Dave Campo. We've seen the golden child, Jason Garrett. We've seen uh, retread coaches like Wade Phillips. None of it has worked. And the one underlying factor to all of it is the culture that Jerry Jones brings to this team, the way he runs the organization. Now we've heard players that have left Dallas talk about it. Chidobe Abuzier, Cole Beasley, and okay, yeah, they might be disgruntled, but what do they say? Every time they leave Dallas, the issue is they that they talk about is the culture and the way that things are done in the Star and in Cowboys headquarters. It is not a seriously run organization when it comes to being able to forge the mental fortitude that's necessary. So we can talk about Dak Prescott's shortcoming. We talked about Tony Romo's shortcoming. We can talk about McCarthy and all the coaches that I listed before. The underlying factor is the culture that they work under. Anybody knows in a successful business, the culture is trickled down from the top bottom. If you have very serious leadership, then your middle management knows what to do. They are well organized. They know what to do under pressure. And that goes down to the grunt workers, the worker bees that actually have to go out there and perform. And the Cowboys have not been able to make that happen in the last 28 years, however long it's been. I'm losing track at this point. So the biggest fade before we start to talk about the things that can change and free agency and the draft and trades and all of those sorts of things, we have to set the baseline that the problem in Dallas is Jerry Jones. Now look, we all know that Jerry Jones is going to be the biggest problem, but that's not going to change. So the next question that's going to come up is what's going to happen in order to make this team a championship team? Jerry's probably going to make a decision in the next 48 hours whether or not he's going to bring back Mike McCarthy. Listen, I was one of the biggest cheerleaders to make Mike McCarthy the head coach. Back when Jason Garrett was still in charge, I was the one that was running power rankings on who the next replacement head coach was going to be throughout the tail end of that 2019 season. And Mike McCarthy was my favorite guy behind Sean Payton and Bill Belichick, who you would have had to trade draft picks in order to get at that time. So make no mistake about it. I was on the McCarthy bandwagon. Winning 12 games in a row, he has added the consistency, the stability that the Cowboys franchise has not had since the Jimmy Johnson era. There is no question about that. But the fact still remains. Mike McCarthy was brought in because he has a Super Bowl championship. The expectation was that Mike McCarthy would bring the Cowboys success when it comes to the playoffs. And that has not happened. Two out of the last three years, the Cowboys have won the NFC East. 12 win season, 12 win season, 12 win season. Two championships, one wild card game. The only time that they've looked successful in the playoffs was on the road against an eight and nine Tampa Bay team when they retired Tom Brady. And while that performance was spectacular and everything that you could want from the Cowboys, what has happened in the other games has been unacceptable. So actually, I have no problem if the Cowboys decide at this point, it's time to move on from Mike McCarthy. 
There's a lot of options that are floating out there about what the Cowboys should do to replace them, who, who they could bring in, whether it needs to be one of these upstart young offensive coaches, whether it needs to be a retread guy like Bill Belichick or Mike Vrabel. I lean towards the Sloak guy, the Sloak offensive coordinator from the Houston Texans, former Kyle Shanahan guy. He has experience on defense. He's shown that he can coordinate the offense. What he did with C.J. Stroud in Houston was remarkable in order to start that dude's career. And I am of the opinion that the best way for the Cowboys to make the change and try to catch lightning in the bottle is to get that guy that is so good he can overcome the culture that Jerry Jones brings to this team.